Hold on. Five, four, three, two. Let me get myself in focus. Yes! Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous. I'm doing good and I am here to do another episode of Untitled Foolery. This is the workout edition because y'all know Miss P, she be in the gym and I've been working on my fitness, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know, I'm very observant and I have my eyes open even at the gym when I'm just, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't be doing all that, but just saying, I have my eyes open. Please like this video. Video, I'd really appreciate it and leave your comments down below because I know you guys have some commentary about this foolery that I'm about to talk about. So let's go ahead and get it in. You ready? Let's go. Sanitization is something that I want to talk about to begin with. At my gym, there is a nice huge bassinet and there are towels in there and you can pick you up a towel and just blot and go, honey, okay? Because I glisten, I don't sweat. So I have to make sure that I'm not glistening too much. You pick up the towel and you go and then you drop the towel in the recycle bin when you finish. I thought about that after using it one day. I said, self, myself said, what? I said, girl, what if they didn't wash the towels? Myself said, girl, you, you right. What if they didn't wash them towels and somebody accidentally put it back in the clean bin? And I, myself said, hell no. I don't know if they, I don't know where they be washing them at. I don't know. And I don't want nobody's bussy juice on me. Ew. Speaking of juices, people are on the treadmill, they're getting it, and their whole assation is on the seat. Please wipe that off. Females with that push juice and dudes with the slong boxes, get get it together. That is just not good for safekeeping. I want you to get those off. I don't know what type of national treasures you have hidden beneath your valleys, all right? Wet wipes and get it in. Clean it and don't just do a nice little brisk and coat. Get deep in there, okay? Spin a record, okay? Please do it. The sweat. Some people I know, they be getting it in and they want you to see that they just pushing it. But sometimes all that nasty sweat, wipe that shit off. That's nasty. Like, just wipe it. Sometimes you just need to put the towel over your face. Some people just need to wear a mask to the gym. Just wipe the sweat off. I know you working out. I know you working real hard. Okay, now, y'all know it's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. So, of course, there were a zillion people in the gym on April the 1st. I was like, is this an April Fool's joke? But I know they're going to trail off. If you start going to the gym and you pay your money every month, make sure you go. Don't just pop in on the 1st and the 15th because you saw it come out your check. Ooh. When you start going to the gym, I believe everybody should take a how do I use this shat course because a lot of people they come in they don't know what they doing they just over exerting themselves they look like they hurting they look like they are taking a shot it's just doing too much so make sure you know how to use the equipment ask somebody speaking of the equipment if you cannot bench press a thousand pounds don't try there are dudes in there they just built like they look like the sit it hurts and they just duh, duh, duh. it's like sir quit it Thank you. And it, they veins all popping out. It looked like a Kevin Ware situation. And y'all saw that when it's old dog. Ah. Speaking of Kevin Ware, when you saw that picture, did your, my vaginal region just, did just like this. Because that looked like it hurt. Like, whoa. Ouch. Ah. It's another equipmenter. If you on the equipment, AKA the treadmill, and there's only about five or six of them, and you are only walking 0.2 miles per hour. Get the hell off of the treadmill. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. That's what the track is for. There needs to be like 8,000 tracks. One for the slow, slow people. One for the people who can't breathe. Oxygen tanks, shout out to them. The old people with the diapers who can't breathe and trying to get their fitness on. Shout out to them. But they need like a zillion tracks because, baby, if you're just sitting up there like, did it do? Get off. This is miscellaneous. Why are snacks available? Like as soon as you go in the gym, you do your little card and it did it and you go on in. But there's like a whole snack machine. People making smoothies, juices. Oh, they got Snickers bars and chips. That's what the hell I'm in here for right now. That's what I'm trying to work off for my hibernation winter weight. Why do you guys have this in here? Uh, people can put up flyers. I don't need to know when the next Krispy Kreme sale is. Krispy Kreme is the devil in disguise. God, I don't want a Krispy Kreme donut. I want a Krispy Kreme so bad. Next. People that just come to the gym just to look cute. Go home, Roger. The locker room is not for tanning. And pumpkin, I mean, try to 
change your clothes in a changing area. Don't have your titties and your puss box out because I saw some things I just did not want to see. Even though we have the same genitalia, I did not want to see your taste of goodness. I did not want to see that and I am scarred for life, honey. I am scarred. I see some foolery at the gym. So down below in the comment section, I want to know what is your gym foolery? I want to know this. We need to go back and forth. Now, I will see you guys next Sunday for another episode of Untitled Foolery. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.